All right, what's up, DVW fam? If you guys are Vegas experts, you guys would know that we are in Las Vegas, Chinatown right now from uh, you know these little buildings behind me, but we got a very special video for you guys today. We're about to try modern French diet experience. I don't think I've covered a lot of French food on my channel before, but ironically, it's in Chinatown, Las Vegas. So let's go try some French food in Las Vegas. Let's do it. So we got a treat. We're in the special chef's table right now. They call this the chef's table because look at this. There's a view behind us and we can see the whole kitchen and we're not here alone. We're doing the full partage chef's tasting menu with the crew right here. Hi, Say what's up everyone. Hey. Cheers to y'all. You guys already know Lydia, but um, this is Giselle. Why don't you say hi? Hi, Giselle. Nothing to do LV, nothing to do LV Eats. We're here at Partage. I'm so happy to meet everybody. I'm JT. JT takes a bite. Uh, I'm excited to, yeah, hang out with Dan. Yeah. All right. So we have some food experts here to um, try out the Partage French cuisine. Let's do it. All right, guys. So we are doing the $475 chef's table tasting menu. They have tasting menus, I believe, every month. They rotate it, but if you guys come here, you could eyes, you guys could also get the same chef's table experience where you guys can watch all the chefs cook in the back, or you guys can stay anywhere and get their other tasting menus. But yeah, first item on this nine course tasting menu is a oxtail croquette right here. Let's try it out. Mm. That's buttery. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so buttery. Yeah, the bread is nice and toasty, and then the oxtail just melts in your mouth. Really fatty. Oh, yeah. Can't wait for the rest of the eight courses. All right, got this little cocktail right here. It's called a Stardust Cinema right here. The reason why they call it that is uh, they call this a Horn Star Martini, so let's try this out. Oh, a little foamy on the top. I'm say it's like a light champagne, but um, oh, no. it's uh, the alcohol of choice in here is Belvedere vodka. It's pretty light, refreshing. Floral, there's a little flower in there. Pretty good on the light side. It's a pretty drink. All right, got another drink here because I love mezcal. It's a mezcal old fashioned. Let's try it out. Ooh, I can smell the smokiness from it already. Oh, yeah. Really smoky. Earthy, I love mezcal. A lot of people don't like mezcal because they shoot it, but like mezcal is meant to be sipped. Hey guys, love mezcal. So, in an old fashioned format, I can sip mezcal by itself or in a cocktail. Mezcal, fire. Okay, butternut squash soup. You have a sauteed mushroom, crouton, coffee foam. You stir all the flavors together and enjoy. Awesome. All right, so I always watch your content, and it's JT takes a bite, but JT has taken multiple bites now, so. <laughs> You're on like your sixth, seventh bite. I, I didn't think that you took. I didn't think you took that many bites. But um, how was the seventh bite? It's very, very good. The soup is incredible. Oh shoot! All right, there it is. Really good texture. Really good texture. You're only seeing it here first on Dan vs. World. JT seventh bite. <laughs> okay, so this is our second course. I honestly don't know what it is. It kind of looks very fall, like Lydia says. There's a bunch of leaves here, very orangish. Let's try it out. Make sure you eat the leaves. Garnish it with it. Ooh, it's really crunchy. We got garnish. It in crunchy. <laughs> Some crunch on it. Mmm, it's really good soup. Foamy. <laughs> Very fancy. This is a pretty fancy restaurant, guys. Four hundred seventy-five dollars. Tasty menu. Great vibes all around. It has definitely that high-end feel to it. There's a bunch of wines everywhere, so this is kind of like a French cuisine for you guys. Since all these dishes are gonna be like, you know, high-end, chef-inspired, it's gonna give you guys DVW score just off the taste, cause it's still three-dimensional for all these. First one, I would give it like 
9.2 out of 10, that Oxo little croquette bar. This one I gave it a solid 8.5 out of 10, soft flavor bar. Fine dining, high end, so it's gotta be good, right? So let's uh, move on to the rest of the dishes. For your next appetizer this evening, we're going to have our beautiful salmon that is coming to us from New Zealand. On top, it's going to have a wonderful peanut crumble nori crumble as well and salmon row you do have some beautiful florida clams on the side though they're coming to us from connecticut on the clam shell we have a saffron aioli and i'll finish off the course by adding another saffron sauce this is absolutely the fanciest presentation of salmon i've ever seen in my life wow and it smells like peanuts all right next course i was actually mistaken the first item the oxo coquette Luckily for us, it's actually just a little taster, so that is not one of the courses. So this is our third course right here. Salmon from Australia, I think you said, but um, like I said, they're all very fancy, you know, multifaceted, you know, dishes. So we're just gonna taste it, give it a DVW score. Ooh, very tender. Wow. Oh, there's some nuts in there, peanuts. Oh, that's why Lydia says it smells like peanuts. Oh, there's some clams in here too. Mmm. Oh man. Oh, that's really good. That's that two pieces of clam. It's like a soup. Yeah, a little piece of fish and one. Oh, it's, oh look at this shell right here. Oh yeah. That's a really fresh piece of clam. Ooh. This taste, this dish tastes like the sea. Mm. Nice little crisp on the salmon. What is that? Very, very tasty. It's not like too much. It's just mm. sophisticated is the word. Very sophisticated oh. dish. Just like off taste, it's like a 9.6 out of 10. Just like everything on to one, but all these dishes are very small, so it's part of the tasting menu. So I'll tell you at the end if we end up getting full on this tasting menu. So let's uh, watch and make our, our fourth course. All right, guys. So this is how it is eating with influencers. You got to... You know, the food or the cameras and the lights eat first, guys. Cameras and lights eat first. So this will be your third and final appetizer for the evening. We have an egg parfait that is slowly cooked for one hour and then fried. It is topped off with chestnuts and puffed farro to add crunch. Sauteed spinach on the bottom with our homemade crispy crouton on the side. It is filled with mushrooms and truffles, topped with shaved black Italian truffles. See, uh, I heard truffle though, and I can smell the truffle, so let's just try this out right here. Look at this. Ooh, look at that egg yolk. Wow, it just popped out. Beautiful presentation, by the way. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. So many textures. I'm gonna dip it like finger mm. style. What do you want me to do? These dishes are so high end, fancy. It makes you feel like a million bucks. Oh man, this is a lot of pressure. You got it. Okay. Mm. Sure it tastes like corn, like pine nuts in there. A little spice. All the truffles here. It's an Italian Sorry. truffle. That's all yours. I love now truffle, so when he described the dish, that. truffle is the word that I heard. How kind of just tastes like, like a very, very fancy steak to egg. Steak, would you say it's but it's that's the thing about the chef's tasting menu. It's a surprise and experience in itself but because at a certain point, like every month they'll so change good. the menu, but so I will say that one thing will be haunting. It will be chef inspired and um, very interesting. Mm. New York in the Hudson Valley. It is rested on a cornichon pone with lentils. Then you have a confit of shallot. Lastly is a croquette made with a foie gras pâté. Bon appétit. This is the foie gras. Me and Jay both love foie gras, so foie gras with everything. So Jay can only take a bite. Ooh, I heard that. You hear that squirt? Oh yeah. I heard that. It like squirted out. All right. So we're gonna do the Jay takes a bite version. We're gonna take one bite. And to be honest, that's what the um, chef told us. He said French cuisine. Full flavored, so we gotta take one big full bite here. Let's see, let's see. All right, cheers. cheers. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Honestly, that's some of the best for raw because it's coated with something and 
there's so many other flavors with the foie gras. What the do you think? The texture definitely balances out with that croquette whole thing. No. Yeah. Um, but that foie, foie gras is super fatty. Yeah. Oh man. That was really good. Like with all these dishes, three-dimensional flavor. There's so many items in this and that's what I just learned from the chef when he came out and brought this. He said, Jay actually asked how we should have this dish and he said like, I mix it together. That's what French cuisine is all about. A bunch of flavors all in one. But man, the highlight is definitely the foie gras. So good. Mm. Do you W score for this? Only five out of ten, just because. Could be bigger, but no oh man, the flavor. Nine point five out of ten. So good. And so there's three of us, and my brother. With such bold, strong flavors, we got a red wine to wash it down with. Um, our waiter asked me if I liked like more lighter wine or full body wine. For me, I'm a bold, full body wine type of guy, so we got a red wine right here. Oh I mean, man. Good pal palate cleanser. Very bold. I wouldn't say like the strongest one, but very balanced. Pretty good. But um, very good to eat with the um, food with such strong flavors like that fog wash to wash down all the vibes. Salud. It's from Italy. We have a sea bass. It is rested on a bacon cream with a parsley coulis. Further this away, we have leeks stuffed with a potato puree, finished off with a tarragon powder. Chef recommends to bring the flavors, textures together, and enjoy. Bon appetit. Mmm. That's so good. Mmm. I don't know what it is, but it's really good. I honestly think that's the best that, thing. That is my mood for all these dishes. <laughs> Another beautiful dish. I think it's our fifth or sixth. I lost track. Probably our sixth. But he said it's a type of fish with a branzino, a leek. And uh, try it out. This is my favorite thing to eat here. Really? Oh, man. Extremely, extremely crunchy. Almost tastes like a pan fried dumpling from the outside, but it's the fish. What a way to start. Oh man. Let's have, a, let's have some of the leek. Mm. Oh man. That leek, that sauce, this sauce is creamy, buttery. That leek, really soft. A lot of different textures. The leek is kind of like, tastes like um, a very soft broccoli stalk. <laughs> Mm. I haven't been to Oh, it's cream. Cream at the bottom. So creamy. And that was good. Oh man, this fish. Very nice transition, man. If I had to describe all these dishes, 3D, so many different textures, flavors. Everything you know? I'm gonna say it's like a little bit of like salmon, but not as strong in taste, but really crunchy. And that cream sauce. Adds that flavor to the fish. I really like this dish for some reason. I give it like a 8.4 out of 10. Really good dish. For the gentlemen, the signature course tonight is uh, vol au vent. This is a traditional French recipe that is made with uh, puff pastry. We have veal sweetbread, a white sauce with mushroom and carrots, a crust of fresh cheese, and then chef made a, a nice salad with organic microgreens and then some uh, spring mix here a little bit of lemon and olive oil from the south of France. Here we recommend to cut through the vol au vent and then try to cut it in four and always have all the layers together, the top layer with the puff pastry and the sweet bread at the same time. Bon appétit. Enjoy. It, the vol au vent, so it's a traditional French puff pastry dish with some veal. Oh man, it was, it's a bunch of stuff, but yeah, look at this, man. Like I said, it's gonna take a piece of everything because all these dishes have so many ingredients in them. Let's try this out. So, it's very complicated. Mm. Oh, you can taste a lot of those herbs and vegetables. My dad first, but that was also complicated mm. because we did not want to call him dad because the comments. Kind There's a lot of like, because the veal, it's um very like fatty and meaty in a way, but you taste a lot of the vegetables in there. All the dishes will say it's the least flavorful, like it's not salty or anything. So many ingredients. The veal very soft and tender. 
veal is super tender. So I'll say it's like a French version of like a beef Wellington because it's not like steak in there, it's veal smaller, but the puff pastry, I would say is the highlight. Really crispy. Good. Yeah, let's UW score 7.2 out of 10. He'll be fine. Mm. Freddy's. But my first yeah, time trying like a vol like And obviously I liked it. But way better. Killed it, but yeah. Traditional yeah. French vol yeah. right there. So uh, we have here for our mid course tonight, this is squab. It's a fancy name for pigeon. So we have the loin and the leg. It's uh, my favorite meat. It's very soft and tender. Uh, it's slowly cooked, so you're going to see all the flavors are very distinctive because of the cooking. Doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, uh, aggress the flesh, it's very soft. We're going to have a crust of pistachio and almonds on top. On the side we have some figs, like a, like a fig chutney. And then we have a, a homemade egg roll that is made with yam and tamarind. And then on top we have a flock de Gascon jelly. This is a, a jelly made with a wine that is blended, that blends cognac and white wine. So this is a, a, usually a dessert wine, so it's going to bring a nice note of sweet and sour. That's how the way we like to um, showcase the pigeon, the squab, or the duck as well. We always love to do a mix of sweet and sour. Squad! Squad. All right, next dish. This one looks really good, actually. This is the... You heard them describe it as a squab, so it's like a pigeon, there's a loin, leg with some jam here, and this yam egg roll. So, a lot of things here. Let's try the egg roll first. Mmm, wow. Crispy, some sweet yam inside. Ooh. Mmm, yummy. Try the loin. Ooh, it looks like a medium rare steak on the inside, nice and pink. Ooh. Let's try this out right here. What is he doing right now? What do you think he's doing? Uh, watching YouTube. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Watching YouTube? There's like a nice like thin layer of fat like on the top. He loves watching videos. But uh, it has a texture of almost like a filet mignon and a sirloin in one. But it's lean, but there's like a little piece of fat on the outside. Mm. That has like a slight poultry flavor to this bird. Ooh, there's some like sweetness on the top. Like sugary. Let me use my hands for this. Oh, there's like some jam right here. Let's um, yeah. put some jam on it. Mmm. It's figs. Big jam. Really sweet. Like Natural tasting. Different world. Get a piece of this little leg right here, pigeon. Mmm. Really fatty. Mm. This is like a really fatty chicken. <laughs> Not necessarily like duck, more like a really tender fatty chicken. Mm. But um, it's like a slight, like a slight like I guess bird or like gamey flavor from the meat, so not quite like a flavor. I like the tenderness and consistency of this. Mm. If you really like pigeon, I'd give it like a nine out of ten, but for my taste, I give like an eight out of ten. It's not bad. Salud. All right, next course. I can already tell I'm gonna love this because I've been on a cheese tear recently, eating all the cheese in Spain. But this is a French Gruyere cheese, and with a croissant. That's how you say it. No, it's croissant. 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 Croissant right here. Let's try out the croissant. Yeah, pinky up, man. Put all his fingers up. Pretty good. Okay. Just how I like my croissant. Flaky, crispy outside and soft on the middle. Mm. And airy too. No surprise because we're at a French restaurant. Well, let's try this. Ooh, so much cheese right here. Mm. Mm. Love the texture of this Gouyer. Gouyer? Mm hmm. Thin, glass like. Crunchy, but there's like a cream in here. Um, I want to meet him. I saw you and Lindsay met him, and I'm like, some I think bacon bits. He, mm. I go every night. There's more and more surprises, and, and some jam in here too. It's like the deeper I get into this dish, the more surprises there are. Mm. Mm. This is one of my favorite dishes here. Even though I feel like it's pretty simple ingredients, it's like bacon cheese and 
a croissant, but I give all the pairings, like eating it together, 9.5 out of 10. We're like everything coming together right here. Mm. Salud. I like it so much that I'm taking Giselle's croissant dish. It's really good. Pardon the interruption, everyone. For the most important part of the meal tonight, we have la noisette. La noisette is the hazelnut. You will have a gaffette, which is our crispy cylinder. Inside is going to have our wonderful hazelnut bread, praline, caramelized hazelnuts as well, hazelnut cream, and shaved hazelnuts all on top. I will finish off the course by adding a wonderful hazelnut sauce all around. Okay, good. All right, we're gonna take our uh, last course together, this dessert. Let's take our this bite simultaneously. Ooh, oh, looks crazy. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. To a great dinner. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Creamy, crunchy. Mm -hmm. mm. Wait, it's like an um, elevated Ferrer Rocher. Mm. Oh, right. yeah. Like a super elevated. Super elevated. One. Yeah. There's ice cream on the bottom. Wait, how do you actually? That's that? really good. Is that Ferrer Rocher? Okay. Super duper crunchy. Like Lydia said, an elevator for her Rocher. It does taste like a Rocher. I'm such a food connoisseur. Look at, Look at me. It's very good. Mm. Fire. Alright. Mm. Subscribe. Like Subscribe. But yeah, this dessert is really good. Last dish. A sophisticated dessert. Just like all the rest of the dishes. Okay. Having a nice cold cream. <laughs> what do you mm. mean? Well, you are three nice dessert. crunchy shell when you get that hazelnut flavor. Very nutty too. Oh. Nine out of ten dessert. I like that it's not super sweet as well. Just take it away. Mm. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Mm. Heat. Like a candy Heat. and ice cream what is and a cake candy? all in one. No, did you make the marshmallow? Really good. Oh. Fire. We got this little oh. dessert champagne, rosé. To pull us down. Oh yeah, carbonated. Like our waiter said, notes of strawberry, raspberry, fruity but not too sweet. I like that. Pretty good. To cap off our chef's table tasting menu. Some little candies to send us off. Mmm. Oh yeah. Same. Apricot flavor. Oh. Ooh, I like the texture. Okay. I love jelly. Gelatiny. Jelly, yeah. That's Madeline's. <laughs> Madeline's right here. I just want this. Oh, yeah. Oh, it has saffron. Mo uh, moist, soft. Mm. Mm. All right, so they have a lot of interesting, you know, tasting tables, rooms here. This is also another one of their exclusive rooms here where they do a grand crew experience and tasting in here but yeah that was our meal and experience here at Partaj in Las Vegas Spring Mountain Chinatown pretty great experience I would have to revise my pricing so the 475 is like the whole experience with the wine there's one glass of wine for every item Ooh, this room is cool it changes colors there's also a table room in there that changes colors as well but uh, our meal is actually 175 which actually looking back at it with the nine courses is actually not bad for a lot of the Vegas tasting menus so I have to revise my DVW score I'll give the whole experience I'll say like a 8.5 out of 10 the food was great you know French food with you know all the high-end food very great flavors so yeah guys that's it for our video, so if you guys like this, please like it. Comment down below some suggestions for us. Subscribe for more DVW Vegas food vlogs. Deuces.